Hi guys, this is uh, just a quick video outlining uh, six or seven episodes during our first game when we were playing out of the back. So um, just have a quick look through them. The, the first instance, um, we're playing out of the back. At this point, we get some good shape here. So we've got Sean running out here. Joe's already out in a wide position. Okay, Ben spotted Joe, just played him. At this point, Joe's picked up the ball just in this area here, just right in here, and he's got lots of space. What we're looking for here is there's going to be a time when Joe has to decide whether he's going to drive forward or pass. So in this case, he's got space, so we're looking for him to drive into the space. As he drives into the space, at the same time, we're looking to see, can he then play into Taylor? If that's not on... Okay, can he drive into the space? And as that happens, if Taylor gets blocked off, we're looking for Taylor just to drop into this spot here. If for some reason Joe can't play out, he's got that option to play back to Taylor. Okay, so we'll see what happens. He's taking the space. In this case, we haven't played either option. Um, just sort of feeling out the team at this point. This was early in the game and just recycling it. So we had an opportunity probably to play through here, through Taylor. Didn't take it, but nevertheless, it would just stay safe. Okay, so now we're coming out the other side now. So LaShawn's done the same thing, so he's picked it up. Now he's driving to the space, which is great. This is what we're looking for. Now he's just looking to penetrate. So in this case, he's played back, played into Bruce. Bruce has then played it back. And it just, unfortunately, if we just rewind that a bit, Rewind that a bit. The touch has come in here. And then LaShawn here, he's got pressure coming at him right away. And instead of maybe possibly turning out and going back, tried to force it. Um, and we didn't lose the ball. We ended up getting a throw in out of it, but uh, we still maintain possession. So here's another example of us trying to play out of the back and doing it through our holding midfielder. Okay, so again, we've got separation out here, which is good. LaShawn's well, driving into the space. Again, good. Now we're just looking for, this is a case where possibly Taylor can drop back into the space to receive. Okay, he's done that. He's picked it up. Again, he's got space, and he's looked to penetrate centrally. So that's a good example if we just rewind that a bit, where we've, Try to go up one side here, didn't like what we saw, recycled, came into Taylor, and because we didn't have any pressure in this area here on Taylor, he was able to get his head up and pick a nice central pass. And if we watch this pass go, we'll just go through it. We stop it there, we'll clear that. He's bypassed one, two, three, four, and five players with one pass. Okay, and that's got us into the midfield. Kyle drives into the space, through ball, just unlucky the timing. Okay, so here's another example. We're playing through the back, and this is a different way of playing where we're going direct. So again, Joe's picked up the ball. Playing back. Good staggered position there from the two center backs to give him an angle. In this case, okay, we hold it here. So a little tight in here to play Taylor, which is fine. Maybe we could have got, Taylor could have moved into this space to get a little bit more depth and he could have played him through. Nevertheless, chosen to play long in this case. Um, not a bad decision because we've got it over the top. Okay. Uh, another example now where we're playing through our center back, but this time we're looking at the wide player coming in off the, the flank to receive it. Sean picks up the ball, drives into the space, and we'll just hold it there. So Matty, who's right here, has basically come off his flank into this space to pick up the ball. Okay. Now in this case, it's a good pass from LaShawn. He's basically taken out their whole front line with a nice penetrating pass. Matty's first touch just goes a little off, and we get crowded out. But if we just rewind that... In this case, as that ball's coming in here, so 
we'll just walk it through. Oh, let's rewind that here. Sorry about that. Here we go. So ball's coming through from LaShawn into this area. There's his first touch. Possibly when we're that crowded with players, what we'd be looking for is one of our midfielders, in this case Christian, who's already on his heels and he's already moving into the space just to look for a little bit of support. So one touch back to Christian in this case and then possibly we're out the other end. Okay, so good idea on the build up to penetrate through to Matty who's come off his wing but instead of trying to take a touch here and a second and a third touch, it's just a one touch back we would be looking for and then we can switch the play. In this case, as Christian makes the run into the space, we'd like Taylor just to come in here, just to support again, in case that pass is off, we've got another player in behind. Okay, so we'll let it run. Again, we didn't lose possession, we got a throw in. Here's another example of us playing through our center back on the left side. Didn't like what we saw, good. LaShawn takes it, looks into space. Bruce has taken up a good position, and we just hold it there. Okay, so if we just rewind that. So we've come into this space here. LaShawn's played into Bruce. Bruce has taken first touch because he's receiving pressure here. So it's a good idea just to play pot past that pressure. He took his first touch. Unfortunately, it's a bouncy ball, so difficult to handle. Nevertheless, Larones get on top of it. We've got good support here for a layoff, which is good, and then good support in here for a play. Unfortunately, our pass, just the timing of our layoff was a little off. And again, we haven't lost possession. Let's just go back. We haven't lost possession. Here, we've got a throw in out of it. So although the buildup wasn't as crisp as I'd like, we still maintain possession, and now we've got the ball in the middle of the field. Okay. Another example, this is playing through our fullback and our holding mid. So Bruce is picking up the ball, driving into space. Uh, cameraman's lost the sight of the ball here. He didn't like what he saw. Hope oh, we'll hold it there. Let's rewind it. So Bruce didn't like what he saw. So he's played back into Taylor here. Okay. Now we're playing through our holding midfielder to get out, and we just hold it there. Again, another very good pass that's taken out. Let's count them here. One, two, three players right off the top. In this case, as the ball's traveling in, it just gets intercepted. So just the timing, the idea was good from Taylor. Just possibly the angle and the speed of the ball just was a little bit shy. Um, and we've lost uh, the ability to retain possession. But again, as in similar examples, the ball's gone out for a throw-in, and we have achieved our goal of getting possession of the ball in the middle of the field. Another example now through our center back, um, and eventually through our right back. Again, the team's dropped off. Joel's received it. First touch into space. He's looking to play. Jacob on the right side. So here, they've not pressed. Let's go back here. They've not pressed Joe. He's had time to look up, play into Jacob. And now Jacob's taking his first touch, which is very good. He's taking it forward into the space here. And now we can drive. He's taking his touch. Oh, let's just rewind that back. So again, this is possibly a pass that, you know, we've gotten out of the back. We're now into the midfield here, and we've got space to run. Our player here is being marked, so he's not going to press him. He's going to go with him, so we've got, I believe this is Joe. Joe's taking him away. Christian's come into the hole, but we've got no pressure in here. So that's the case where I'd like our fullback to actually drive into the space and try to commit one of these defenders. In this case, Jacob elected to play the ball, touch, that's fine. Okay, we ended up possession in the midfield. Uh, finally, we'll look through playing through our center back. Again, a very direct way to play. So LaShawn's picked it up on the left side, he's getting pressure from the number nine. 
He's just looked to see Marcus over the top. And unfortunately, the 1v1 battle, the other team won. So, all in all, probably about seven examples, different ways we've played out of the back. Through the center back, through the wide players, through the central players, and direct. So, uh, in this game alone, we played a number of different ways out of the back. Um, some were more successful than the others, but at least we were trying it. So, very rarely did we try to play through the back where we lost it in the midfield. So, good job.